Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, wherever you're at. And um, I did an Instagram post on my other Instagram account, Good News underscore USA, about the dark history of Thanksgiving and the true history of Thanksgiving, uh, about the Native Americans and Puritans. And there's a lot of stuff on that many people are taught about. And feel free to check that out. I know it's a pass, but we just pray and just prayer and thanksgiving of forgiveness and also gratefulness. Um, you can check that out more, and I'll link that above. So tonight, today, this morning's reading will be Colossians chapter four in the New Testament, and it's one of many Bible verses on Thanksgiving that we did earlier. Colossians chapter four in the New Testament. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is so much to be thankful for, despite all the uh, challenges that we face in life every day. Uh, the thing that gives us hope is just remember the prayers that has been answered in the past. So that's my challenge to you, is no matter what challenges you're facing, think of the good things that's going on or the things that God has answered your prayers for. Colossians chapter 4. In the New Testament epistles, Masters, give your slaves what is just and fair, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. Devote yourselves to prayer. Is the next chapter section theme. Devote yourselves to prayer, keeping alert in it with thanksgiving. Amen. At the same time, keep praying for us as well, that God may open up to us a door for the message to proclaim the mystery of Messiah for which I am in prison. Pray that I may make the mystery clear as I ought to speak. Conduct yourselves with wisdom toward outsiders making the most of the opportunity. Let your speech always be with grace seasoned with salt to know how you ought to answer everyone. Next chapter section theme verse 7 Further instructions and greetings. Tychicus, a dearly loved brother and trustworthy servant and fellow slave to the Lord, will tell you all the news about me. I sent him to you for this very purpose, so you may know about us, and be he may encourage your hearts. With him I sent Onesimus, a faithful and dear brother, who is one of your own, they will tell you about everything here. My fellow prisoner, Aristarchus, sends you his greetings. As does Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, you received instructions about him. If he comes your way, welcome him. Yeshua, who is called Justice, also sends his greetings. These are the only fellow workers for the kingdom of God that are from among the circumcision. They have been a comfort to me. If Paphras, who is one of your own, a slave of Messiah Yeshua, greets you, he is always laboring in prayer on your behalf, so you may stand complete with full assert about everything that is God's will. For I testify that he has gone to much trouble for you, and for those in Laodicea and Hierapolis. Luke, the dearly loved physician, sends you greetings, and so does Demas. Great, greet the brothers and sisters in Laodicea, as well as Nympha and the community that meets in her house. When this letter has been read among you, make sure that it is also read in Messiah's community of Laodicea. In turn, you should read my letter coming from Laodicea. Tell Archippus. See to it that you complete the service you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. The greetings is in my own hand. Paul's, remember my chains, grace be with you. And that's a verse, chapter 18, or verse 18, Colossians chapter 4, in the New Testament. And uh, here is my post that I just did this morning that I shared earlier. Um, we thank Lord, thank you God for the Native Americans in this country. 
And we pray, Father God, for the indigenous Native Americans in this time. Thank you, Lord, for what they've done to, per to provide this land that we call Blessed America. And uh, we pray, Father God, that the past, we learn from the past, and uh, we pray for a brighter future, and that we continue praying and thanksgiving and giving, seeking guidance on what you have for us in this nation, in this world, for your glory and Yeshua's name. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving. Reflect. What are you thankful for with your loved ones and family, friends during this season? And make it be uh, something to do all year round.